Slayer's camp is to the right. No rush, is there? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. <laughs> <laughs> One here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. At least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You'd have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. <laughs> Don't disappoint them. Continue down this path, and you'll find their den. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars! <laughs> He's really forgiven me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened mm. between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, <laughs> broken promises. <laughs> Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. No. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good, but so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. Welcome in, Brian. Look out!
time looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. Find the Nokis! It's making these things stronger! Yeah, it's stay quiet. Find you. Look out. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Hildas Vini said Freyr and Bigvir were captured. Who's Bigvir? He's a Light Elf, a former scholar exiled from Alfheim with his wife Bela. She may be their best warrior. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. <laughs> I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hati, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. They're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenar Yar played a part according to Skull and Hathi Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A 
strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. Let's decide for the Vini and the Elves. Who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. Hmm. Fitting. There she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. They all go. Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box down there. This is At least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! 
She's getting away. Come on. Double ambush? Okay. Can you see that coming? Careful, brother. You're covered in bike cost. She's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. Third time's the charm. They are not smart. I and there's that. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes, I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yotnar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Whoa, Prop. what is that? A wagon! Nasty yeah. beast! Careful, wagon! Yeah. Let's go! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 From hell on. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father. How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. All help <laughs> Walking straight into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from. Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it.
You got nothing. Just like inside their shrine. <sighs> if I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. <laughs> Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodas Fini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Look out! Scapa! <laughs> <laughs> Same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast. Not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhariar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said? It will not come to that. Oh! <laughs> 
Guess they like the egros. So, we report back to Hildes Fini. Then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for masterpieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, father. All the plants here want to kill us? No, no. no. Only the carnaptious ones. That wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blowthunder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. Freya's being you held in a prison to the north. That's Follow enough. Freya, brother. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. Nice work with the wolves. I've never seen any clips in Vanaheim before. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fair in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Vigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat.
We've rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Hmm. Our disadvantages are many. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. Our actions in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, brother. You're covered in by The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall. But you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? Dog, Samir. What? most annoying man alive. Thank <laughs> you. 
More up ahead. On your mark. This way. Alas, we're on Neathhog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathhog protects the tree's roots wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Just make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs> Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Coming for you, Ingvi. <laughs> Completely giving away your position. <laughs> what idiots! <laughs> oh, if it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. Heimdall. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Mm. <laughs> well, the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. 
<laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? Whoa! What did Cool Topher ever do to you? Really? You are the one who killed Balder? Have some Viper on me! So aggressive, so angry. Oh, Did you want some more? Come on, dumb animal. Frustration, you know. It is immensely satisfying. What now, brother? The spear remains our best chance. Oh, wait. You expected the stick to give you an advantage? Hey, careful. These are new braces. I can see the resemblance now. Hilarious! The scion of the Aesir brought down by an old geezer's cane. Ah. Will he hit me? Slow down! Oh. Oh. I don't remember the last time anyone <laughs> hit me! Come on, brother! You hit him once! <laughs> Just gotta find the right <laughs> opening! <laughs> you strike like a sloppy cow! <laughs> I was not satisfied either. Uh oh! Uh oh! Strike, brother! Slow down! Oh, he is mad now, isn't he? <laughs> there we are. Armor fit for a cop. Yeah! 
like a sloppy cow. Slow it down. Come on, brother. You hit him once. Just gotta find the right opening. Ah. You know, pain is not as bad as I remember. <laughs> there we are. Armor fit for a car. He's open! If I'm more surprised or pissed off! Strike, brother! Spare me out of pity. <laughs> Let it go, and you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him. <laughs> <laughs> this is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. You do not get to decide my fate! You are dead. I am going to find that 
little mongrel of yours and beat his face into a pulp! Only one of us is walking away from this. And it sure as shit will not be you! Kratos, that was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. <laughs> <laughs> 